Heidi ho and hello kiddos. So today, um, my cheese has slipped incredibly off my cracker. I have gone down the deep end of the well. We are going to do the evidence bag and it's a two hooper and it will have, ha ha, when we're done, a slip pocket in the front and of course the front zip, blah, blah, blah. We're but <laughs> here's the cool thing. Um, because we're doing this zip pocket thing, we actually have an envelope in there um, when we use clear vinyl that you get to see some stuff. And since it's Halloween and it's an evidence bag and blah, 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 um, I kind of went crazy um, at the craft store. And once you see what this bag looks like, um, you'll see how you can go crazy and nuts for it. All right, so you can, um, you're going to want something funky. Um, monster eyeballs, regular googly eyeballs. Um, I found these bouncy balls that I cut in half to give a really 3D eyeballs. Um, I sent Ray to Spirit, and um, we've got some severed fingers um, or, you know, a pentagram scar. I haven't decided which of the fun stuff I'm going to throw in there yet. I'm going to wait till a little closer to done to figure out what my evidence is. But to start off, remember two hoops. Um, we're going to do the pocket overlay first. So for that, you are going to need some 16 gauge clear vinyl. 16 gauge clear vinyl. Um, it has two appliques on it. You're going to need some white vinyl for one applique and some red vinyl for the other applique. You're going to need a piece of a fabric. Um, so that the ugly googly is not visible. Um, trust me, just trust me. Now, when we start the actual bag um, to put the pocket on, you're gonna need, um, I'm gonna use white vinyl, but I am gonna use a red zipper because I want that red Ziploc for like evidence collection bags. You're gonna need a piece of Ollie Fun because we are going to do a, a half lining um, on the back. Something like that. And you, uh, da -da -da. oh, obviously, your grass grain ribbon and your D-ring or lobster claw. So the very first thing you're going to do is you are going to hoop up some medium weight cutaway. Da -da -da, and you are going to load pattern number one. It's called ZB Evidence 1. Throw it in your machine. Put in your color stops, blah, blah, blah. Um, and remember, because it's a zip bag, there's a lot of colors in here. You're not going to use the primary colors, the only three colors on this one are gonna be red, white, and black. Throw it in the machine, and we're gonna run our dye line first. So go ahead and run color stop one, and I'll be back to show you what to do next. Okay, folkies, here we are. We're doing um, the first stage, the first hooping of this project. So this is like six by six and a half or so. Blah, blah, blah. You're gonna need a piece of clear vinyl. Mm. All right, and we are going to carefully Lay this final. The most important thing is that your super straightest edge ever is right up against, right on that line right there. Okay, at the top. Um, it's the ones with the 90 degrees, not the curvies. And I did not grab any of my tape. There's my tape. All right. And we are going to, you want to make sure your left, right is covered. Um, and you want to stick out probably a half inch or so. Ditto the bottom. You want this top line of your clear vinyl right on the red line. I mean, super right on it. And you want to extend on the other three sides by about a half an inch or so. I'm going to put some tape just to hold the curl out of this guy. Because again, it wants to curl back up. It's been laying in its tube for a while and we're gonna throw it back in the machine and we are gonna run color stop two. So we will be back after two. Okay, there we go. We've got a dye line and you can barely see it because I used white thread on white stabilizer. There we go, off to an angle. There you go. We've got a dye line for our first applique piece. Um, and that piece is only going to be to do, do, do when it's done two and a quarter by about four so probably cut it to two and three quarters by four and a half i because i've got scrappies everywhere have this just laying about this is going to be way too big you know it i know it but i'm going to go ahead and use my scrappy scraps up 
and I'm just gonna lightly hold it in place with a little tapey tape and we will be back um, in just a second to applique cut that. Oh, looky there, we get to applique cut. So we're gonna take up our little tapey tapes and we're gonna hold them aside because we're probably gonna need them later, almost guaranteed. There we go. And now we are going to, ooh, I'm gonna have fun cutting that, that's okay. I can do that. We want to get as close to that zigzag as we possibly can without snipping it, but if you're using the right tool for the job, you're gonna be good to go. And this is a nice piece of vinyl left over. So I'm gonna set it aside. And then I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna go down this side. And I am going to come over here and I'm gonna go down. Hey, okay, there we go. Put it back in the machine and this time, this time, ooh, I did not get close enough there. Hmm. I was talking. See what happens when you don't pay attention? There we go. Go ahead and put this back in the machine and you are going to run color stop four in black, <coughs> five in red, that's the case number. You can skip that if you want to. Six in white, that's gonna be the satin all around this. And seven in red, that gives you a die line for your next applique. So we will be back after four, five, six, and seven. I will see you between seven and eight. Okay, we have got all of the wording on the first label done, and we've got a die line for our second one. So grab a piece of red vinyl, float it over. If you wanna tape it a little bit, you can tape it a little bit, and run color stop eight, and we'll be back after eight to trim it out. Okay, there's our next little piece of applique, and we are going to very carefully applique cut right up against the zigzags. Doo -doo -doo. And boy, there's a lot of good vinyl left. Oops. Hey, don't forget to take your tapey tapes up because it'll be easier to applique cut if they're not there. <sighs> Come here. There. Come here. There. Boy, I cannot get my, uh, there we go, my teeth like I usually do. <sighs> or not teeth, my blades. No. All right, go ahead and put it back in the machine and run color stops 9, 10, and 11. I will see you between 11 and 12. Okay, kiddos, that part is all done. You should be between color stops 11 and 12. So we are going to take a piece of fabric. And you want to put um, pretty side facing up if you're doing a pattern fabric. I'm just doing plain old white, um, so it doesn't really matter. You wanna line it up just with the top of that line right there. And you can put a little piece of tape to keep it in place. And you're gonna run color stop 12. And we will be right back after 12. Okay, that was super quick. So we're gonna tear up this tape. And we're gonna tear up this tape. Don't worry about it, Trust, guys, trust faith, hmm? okay? So we're gonna flip it over. And while it's still in the hoop, because it's easier to do it while it's in the hoop, um, we are going to trim off an awful lot of this cutaway, okay? Um, so just anywhere you can, Get a little start with your seam ripper, okay? Do, do, do. I'm gonna pull up some of these stitches. There we go. There we go, yeah, good start for me. Okay, um, I'm gonna cut. Oh, I probably should have taken that tape off, huh? Yeah, come here tape. Eh, or not, there we go. Okay, flip this bad boy over. I am going to cut right up to this satin and I am gonna try and get, don't snip your satins. I'm gonna try and get as close as possible. Yay. Now I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna do the side of that satin and I'm gonna go right to that stitch line we just put in and I'm gonna come over, there we go. 
now I am going to come up here. Doo -doo -doo. I prefer trying to trim out stuff while it's still in the hoop because it gives me an extra hand. Ha, ha, ha. Kind of, sort of. Go right up to that stitch line. Okay. Da, da, da. Now things get a little dicey because it's not all perfectly easy to get at. And you're going, why didn't you use tear away? Because this is too dense of stitching. That satin will chew up that tear away. Um, and you'll get all kinds of registration errors. And it'll just be bad. I mean, you can. Go ahead and give it a shot. Um, but I wanted to make sure that my stitching looked nice and perfect. go and you'll note I am turning my hoop not my scissors because there is a direction in a way that works best for the scissors and there's no reason for you to do people origami all right now we are just going to zoop Zoop. And we're going to be able to take that right out and get rid of that hoop. And we're going to get rid of uh, this tape. And we're going to get rid of this tape. And then I'm going to go back and peel that tape off. Just like so. And then this last little piece of stabilizer. Just gonna zoop it right out of there, just like that. Now I am going to take my fabric, this is the back side of all of it, and I'm gonna flip it over, and then I'm gonna flip it over again. Don't fold your um, um, vinyl, the clear vinyl. Okay, oops, I got all kinds of stuff caught in there. There we go. Um, you want a quarter inch. That's what it is right there, a quarter inch. And just fingernail, oops, there's a little bit of stabilizer showing. There we go. Pulled that right out, didn't I? Ha. All right, so we're gonna, this will be our pocket, our crime scene evidence pocket. And we're gonna set it aside for the moment, okay? Now, go ahead and hoop up some some medium weight cutaway, and we'll start the rest of the bag. Go ahead and load pattern two. Okay, so we got our pocket done. We're not going to put our googlies and gigglies and weird stuff in it yet. Um, we're going to go ahead and start working on our zip bag. So go ahead and hoop up some medium weight cutaway and run color stop one. Run color stop one. We'll be back in a second. Okie dokie folky, we've got our die lines for our zip or for our D ring slash lobster claw assemblies. Um, you can either do a crossbody bag with two attachments at the top, or you can do a side. I'm gonna do the side. So I'm gonna fish my three inches of five eighths inch gross grain ribbon right through there. And I am going to tapey tape right along the uh, side right there, overlapping by about a quarter of an inch. And then I'm going to secure my floppy metal bits because nobody likes floppy metal bits in their machine. Nobody likes floppy bits anywhere. And then we're gonna throw it back in the machine and run color stop two. And da -da -da. color stop two tacks it down. We're also gonna run color stop three. So color stops two and three. Two to tack that down, three to give us some vinyl die lines. Back in a second. Okie okay, dokie pokies, it's time to lay down our zipper. We want the zipper head off to the left. Um, oh, and this is way too much of a zipper. Let me see if I have a smaller zipper real quick. Because I don't mind cutting down, but that seems a big old waste. Let's see, come here, short zippers. What do I have for short zippers? Yeah. 
Maybe I grabbed that because that is the shortest zipper I have. Oh my. Yeah, I have 4,000 feet of zipper. <sighs> well, 4,000 feet of red zipper. Okay. Well, that looks like about the shortest we can do. So we're going to be cutting it down. We're going to line that zipper up. Remember, zipper head to the left. Um, so that it's nice and over and under. And we are going to take a little piece of tape and we are going to, we want to make sure that top and bottom line, both of them, are covered just like so. Just, yeah, come here. Just like so. There we go. And we're going to come over here. We're going to make sure, erg. It's going to be one of those days, isn't it? All right, fine. Be that way. Don't you hate it when everything just wants to fight you? Ugh. There we go. Yeah. That wants to come up. I don't want it to come up. I also don't want all of that zipper sticking out. So there, bye. All right, put it back in the machine and run Color Stop. Uh, color Stop four to tack down that zipper and then we'll be back to lay in our vinyl. Back in just a second. Okie dokie, folkie, we got our zipper tacked down. Now we're gonna lay in our vinyl. You're gonna need two pieces of vinyl. The top piece of vinyl is going to be, go ahead and cut it to six inches wide um, by one and a half inches tall. So we're gonna put that in place. Remember the key to this is you want to buck that vinyl right up against the teeth and you wanna distribute it left and right so that it's nice and centered. The bottom piece is gonna be six inches wide by six and a half inches long. Do, do, do. And you are gonna do the same thing. Find the nice, nice and straight edge and buck it right against those teeth, just like so. And we are going to tape everything in place, which is gonna be a little difficult because I'm gonna, I'm using the multi-needle for this today. Um, and the hoop is just a little bit cattywampus. Um, it's roundy roundy, so, and it juts up and makes life difficult and blurg. So, taping this stuff down takes a little bit more ingenuity than usual. So, when I'm using like the 770, um, it's a lot easier because that hoop is flat, flat, flat. There's barely a lip on it. This thing, meh. this thing is making my life difficult. Yes, it is. Yes, you are a pain in the butt. Okay, we're gonna do this one at a time because, um, and I don't edit this stuff out because I know you love to get to see that I struggled just like you guys. All right, there we go. I'm gonna put a little piece right there just to, and we probably need to put a little piece. This is why I have like 80 billion little pieces of tape stuck to my bench. There we go. And then down, down. There we go. Now we only need to do that to the bottom piece. Yay. And then we're going to throw it in the machine. And we're going to run color stop. Okay. Tape. Come here, tape. Nope, I'm not. You know what? This should have been a mimosa day. Totally. Just stayed in my yamas. And... Cuddle the kitty and drink all day long. Come here, lay down, lay down. Don't you like three minutes of me wrestling with vinyl? Wow. Okay, throw it back in the machine and run color stop five. Five is gonna tack that stuff down. Stop, stop that. Stop it, stop it, stop it. You know what? Just like you can never have too much starch, you can never have too much tape. We're just going to tape the snot out of this boy today. 
He is going to stay in place if it kills both of us. There we go. There we go. Everything's nice and flat now. Ha. Huh. So run color stop um, five to tack it down. Six to do some design work here. And seven for design work here. I will see you back. Um, you're going to run white, goldenrod, then black. I will see you between seven and eight. I will see you at the pink step. All right. See you at pink. Also known as color stop eight. Okie dokie pokies, we are now on color stop eight. So since there is stitching at the top and there will be stitching at the bottom, we're gonna cover the whole thing except for where the zipper's at with Ollie Fun. This is that kind of half lining I do just so that there's not raw stitching on people's hands. So we are going to cover, ooh, I don't need this much. Look at me wasting supplies. I don't need that much. We're going to cut it down. We're going to go ahead and cover the whole back, but then we're going to trim out. So take a piece of Ollie and cover the whole back. And you only need to really secure this at the four corners to keep it from, well, first of all, gravity. Um, but second, to keep it from rolling up and bunching up and stuff. So go ahead and tape off your four corners and throw it in the machine and run color stop eight. We will be back after eight. All right, so we have got... Our Ollie Fun tacked down. We're going to take up our little tapes and we are going to trim some of our Ollie Fun. Not all of it, just some of it. Well, we definitely want to trim right here on the zipper, don't we? So we're going to go here and we're going to go here. Just like so. And we're going to need to turn some hardware, so we're going to trim the top. Do, do, do. And we're going to trim the sides so that we can do our little zipper trick. And we're going to start our zipper trick now. So throw it in the machine and run color stop. So there you go. You're all trimmed out. Run color stop nine. We'll be back after nine. Hey guys, you know what I forgot to do before we started our zipper trick? Was open the stupid zipper. That's okay. That mistake can be fixed, but please don't be me. Um, somewhere between, not somewhere between, but exactly step um, between eight and nine. You've got to remember to open the zipper. <sighs> I know, I know, I'm supposed to be the expert. It's it's a day, guys. I really just cannot stress how much of a day this is. So, with your zipper open, run color stop nine. Now that we're here, <laughs> we want it to be about two fingers from the end. We're gonna tape it down because, you know, we don't like floppy metal bits. We're gonna put a little piece of tape for um, each of our transitions. What are we doing here? No, he, not yet. <laughs> we actually have to do the zipper trick now. Y'all, my brain. If I only had a brain. Hey, I need to do a Wizard of Oz drop. I need to, nope, not that piece. That piece, you know, we're gonna have to play with the zipper, so yeah. So I'm taking up all of my tapes except for the zipper head and I'm making a mess. Now, wow, I need my seam ripper. And I need my scissors. We are going to slice to the left and the right of the zipper all the way down to our little um, tack line that's not there anymore because I had to pull it out to open my zipper. But if you did this right, it's there. And then we're gonna leave about a quarter of an inch of teeth, like so. Then we are going to pick up our zipper and we are gonna put a little tear. You know, I went and got my seam ripper and closed it up and good job me. And we're gonna put about a one inch tear in our stabilizer, like so. And we are going to stuffy, stuffy, stuffy. Choo, choo, choo. Come here. Stuff, stuff. Pull those tails all the way to the back. We're gonna rotate around and take our scissors and cut the teeth out. Mm -hmm. 
and go all the way down to the tack line, but come back up about a quarter of an inch and leave some teeth. Then pick up your zipper ta uh, t uh, bleh, tape and put about a one inch tear, like so. Come here, there, there, and then stuffy, stuffy, stuffy. Pull them to the back side or not. Just, you know, kind of, you know what it is, I'm getting frustrated and I'm making silly mistakes. So I need to take a break. So we're gonna criss cross applesauce and we're gonna tape those down with some fresh tape because all of that tape is mangled and ugly. Then we're going to criss cross applesauce and we're gonna trim those back because they are way too long. And we're going to tape the hose down. And we're gonna throw it in the machine and, oh, we do want some transition to, ooh, and we want metal bits to stay out of the way. Transition tape, transition tape. Okay, now, now, okay, make sure. Zipper open, tabs, zipper trick folded under, blah, 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 transitions, okay, now. We are going to run color stop 10, huh? 10. We'll be back after 10. Actually, um, the video, it'll seem like no time has passed at all. I'm going to go get something to drink. Um, and maybe, you know, alcohol is late in alcoholism will help with the rest of this video. <laughs> back in a minute. All right, folks, almost done. Yay. So we have got to pull up. Well, first we're going to flip it over and we're gonna cut the tails off. <laughs> we are also, while we're thinking about it, gonna put a little tear in our stabilizer so that later we can cut it away and actually um, turn this bad boy. We're gonna tape, take that tape up. We're gonna tape, we're gonna figure out how to speak English. Uh, we're gonna take these tapes up. We're gonna leave that one there, okay? Leave that one there. Boom and boom. We are going to put just the slightest little bit of cuts in our um, vinyl. Well, that's almost to my zipper line, so I'm gonna do that. Make sure you leave an eighth to a sixteenth of an inch. Fold your lobster claw and de or de ring over and tape it down now. He 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 he. Remember that pocket we did first? We are going to come down about a quarter of an inch. I'm gonna put our thumb right here. And yes, we've got plenty of room here. All right, so. Remember all those goo balls and goodies I showed you at the beginning? Yeah, now's the time for those, yay. I know, you're just itching. So I've been thinking about it. A finger would be nice. The problem is that I think that finger for the five by seven bag is too big. Also, same with the eyeballs. I think they're probably too big. And then of course, my scar tissue, you're not really gonna see. So on this one, on this one, I'm gonna put a little piece of tape You only want to be down a quarter of an inch from that zip line. Actually, just to give us some more room, we're going to put it right on that line. How's that? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. We will see in a minute. All right, so, and does that, yep, we still, we're still grabbing. We've got plenty of room down here. I think, um, I think I'm going to go funny with this one. Ooh, I've got... I got a hair right there I'm gonna get rid of. I think I'm gonna go funny on this one. Whatever you use, um, plastic spiders, glitter, um, severed finger. For this step right here, right now, you wanna stack them in the middle underneath. You don't want to um, have them too close to any of your stitch lines. So I think I'm going to just do 
a whole bunch of googly eyes right there. Because googly eyes. I'm gonna make sure I'm out of my stitch path. I think I can fit some more googly eyes in there, some smaller ones. Yes, I have all of the googly eyes, okay? Um, I thought, I thought I had some plastic spiders. Plastic spiders would have been fun, but I can't seem to find them, which means that I may have already used them for something else. Probably something not STFA related. Um, probably was, well, it wasn't when Nerdling was here because Nerdling doesn't have a problem with spiders. Um, but she has a problem with frogs and lizards, so I went and bought a whole bunch of plastic frogs and lizards and put those in her bed. He 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 he. Um, I don't know anybody who has problems with spiders. That I know I, you know. All right. Is that enough? I think that's enough. All right, so we're going to make sure that those are all shoved into the middle and out of our stitch path. Mm hmm because I'm, I'm just having fun. Um, I probably could have used the monster eyes, but I'm feeling goofy. But definitely, like the six by 10, I'll probably use the pentagram, and the seven by 11, I'll use some fingers. And um, eight by 12, probably back to eyeballs. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna fold this down. Yep, 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 yep. All right, we're good. Everything's in place, now we take our back, um, and you need eight by, um, six by eight, and I am going to put a little tape to hold this, this giant sandwich together, and I am going to run color stop 11, do not run 12. 12 is a dead stop, and since we've got so much squished into the middle of our um, our bag. We really don't want that needle head coming over the middle of the bag. Throw it in, run color stop. <sighs> 11 and we will see you after 11. <laughs> okay guys, over oh, there, hey folks, almost done. All right, so we're gonna flip this over and we are going to trim out the last of that stabilizer. Doo doo doo. Am I? Yes, I am totally on screen. And then after we do uh, this little piece of it, we are gonna pop it out of hoop, pop it out of the hoop. There we go, there we go. Where's the rest of my hoop? There's the rest of my hoop. And we are gonna take, um, since it is mostly square, we're going to trim a one eighth of an inch, one sixteenth of an inch, somewhere in there on all four sides, like you do. Then we're gonna grab our skizzers and we are gonna roundy down our corners. Yay. Round your corners. Round your corners. Round your corners. And one more to grow on. Then we're gonna flip this over. We are going to open up. Well, we're gonna see if we can't grab some of these tapes. Yes, get rid of our tapes, get rid of our tapes. We're gonna open that zipper as much as we possibly can. We're gonna reach down into a far corner and we're gonna try and turn this guy. And it's gonna be a little bit more difficult than usual because we're using clear vinyl and marine vinyl. Plus we've got all our goo gaws in there and some appliques, so. You're gonna have to work it a little bit more than usual, but it will work. Trust me, 
I trust me. Squishy, squishy, come on. All right, there we go. Once you get it eased through, it really wants to work with you. I lie, it doesn't. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right, now to get those corners popped out down there. Yep, yep, yep. And come up here and turn these corners. They're also not gonna wanna turn. So we are going to grab some sort of pokey thing. And we are gonna pokey and come here, pokey outie. Pokey outie, there we go. There we go. Gonna come back down here. Ooh, I need a longer pokey outie. That's, where's my crochet hook? It was around, ah, now ha! My crochet hook is a longer pokey addy. Poke, 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 poke. Making sure I'm not poking all the way through the stitching or the vinyl. All right, good, good, good. Okay, we're gonna have to roll our seams and blah, 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 but ahead and get my googly eyes. Oh, that one flipped over. There, flipped it back. Hee hee hee. All right, let's close our zipper. There we go. So the neat thing about this, and again, this is the five by seven. So um, you're gonna have to be smallish. And I'm a little sad that they didn't show up better. Maybe I should have stuck them to the fabric. Um, and some of them got twisted over backwards. Yeah, well, I'm going to be spending some time getting some eyes facing the right, right way. But the great thing about this is in addition to having the zipper, blah, 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 you have a slip pocket where you can just slip in your phone. Uh -huh. So there you go, guys. Again, it's going to need to spend some serious time under some books getting smushed. Um, and you know, now that I think about it, I probably should have put that scar up in there and eh, I'm going to play around and see what I come up with. But there you go. Evident zip bag with slip pocket. Yay! Peace.